uh, hi, this is me, Josie Gardner, and this is about our trip that we went with the Queer Komatua on the 7th of April 2016. This was, was the day that we made the trip to Fjordlands and the Moffat Sound. We left early in the morning at 7 a.m. We woke up to catch the bus. It was a beautiful dawn morning, streaked with red and golden clouds. We passed the usual picturesque countryside farm, lakes and mountains. It was going to be a long ride with my history of uh, car sickness. But it was worth the wait to get to the wondrous sights of Milford Sound. It was raining steadily as we came up to the tunnel called the Homer Tunnel. This was the only roadway access to the Milford Sound. Although the Homer Tunnel is wide enough for a bus and small vehicle to pass, other traffic, at other times traffic lights operate during the busy summer months to keep it safe. What an incredible sight it was to arrive and see those spectacular waterfalls just streaming down those mountain sides. The memorable sight of a thousand waterfalls will stay in our minds for a long time, but it's just wonderful that we were able to get some pictures of that fabulous day. The fantasy started as we began to reach the tunnel and both sides of the road were fabulous, magnificent, magnificent and amazing images of these waterfalls tumbling down. This memory is just etched and engraved in my brain. It was a special day that Henry Father had preserved for all of us exceptional people from the north of New Zealand, the queer Komatwa representing the Ngāpui tribe. It was just put on just for us to enjoy and remember. Then we went on one of those one-day cruises. It was even more exciting, stunning and impressive with those gargantuan edifices towering their majestic and immense beauty in front of us. It was a glorious, remarkable and marvellous experience to be there on that day. It was raining quite hard and they weren't and they weren't advising us to go on deck where it was slippery and windy but me, this woman, just had to do it. I was thinking that this was a once in a lifetime experience and I had to go do it. I might have fallen over once but I was determined to see it. It was just everything I hoped it would be. It was absolutely breathtaking. The rain, the wind, the waterfall and the rocking of the boat gave it an eerie, prehistoric feeling and, and appearance. The manifestations of those hundreds of, if not thousands of waterfalls bounded by those immense rocky cliffs carved out by slow marching glaciers tens of thousands of years ago, high above the southern Alps, with glacier-fed rivers coursing their way downward. For this reason, waterfall these waterfalls are one of the highlights of my life. There were several permanent waterfalls in the Milford Sound, and it's and in the wet season, the rain amplifies and intensifies them. It is a compelling reminder of the awesome power and nature of which these falls gush down rocky cliffs high above you and tumble into the fjord. But the rain also creates this even more remarkable waterfalls. They are everywhere 
making sinuously down the walls of the fort, appearing as if by magic at the top of glacial valleys, crisscrossing sheer rocky cliffs and trickling their way to the sea level. Some of these waterfalls start so high up in the mountains that their streams never reach the sea below. The water simply disperses into the mist and drifts away, carried off by the wind into nothingness. This moody world of grey skies, soft clouds, ethereal sprays and cascading streams is pure magic. Coupled with the remote nature of the place, it is easy to believe you have been transported back in time to some primeval era. Up on the deck, I could only have admiration for this resplendent beauty. Milford Sound is truly exceptional. In the rain, it's like you have into another world. The, the boat takes us really close to the waterfalls and as you feel the waterfalls spray touching you, you cannot help but feel amazed. And even the tourists who are on the boat were enjoying this waterfall experience. I'm glad that I was one of the ones who got to experience the wonder and the beauty of those thousand waterfalls. You need to experience it for yourself. It is so immense and so beautiful.